Welcome you all to my YouTube channel. My name is Edwin Wallace. Can you find out the area of the shaded portion? Just think about it for some time. So there are many methods of finding the area of the shaded portion for this problem. But in this video, I'll just consider two methods. So first of all, for us to find the area of the shaded portion, we can find the area of this smaller square. But we know that we have two semicircles, right? And they are of the same length. So since both of them intersect at a point, the distance from, from the point of intersection will be what? Half the distance of this whole what? diameter. So you are going to get to the radius. It will be what? 10 meters. So now we, when we find the area of this smaller square plus the area of this arc shape to this one arc shape and another arc shape, we are going to get what the area of the, the shaded portion. Now, the question is that how can we find the area of this arc shape? Now, we know that since they both intersect at this point and, and they, they intersect at where the, where the radius is, the radius of the semicircle is, we know that it's what 10 meters. Right. So if you're able to find the area of this smaller square minus, minus the area of this quadrant, this quadrant, we are going to get what? The area of this arc shape. Right. So the area of the square of, of the square of the smaller square is what 10 square because the sides are all equal. And we know that the area of the quadrant is what one over four pi r square and now we know that the radius is already what 10 so you are going to get 10 square minus one over four pi r square right and from there we are going to get what the area of the arc shape to be what 100 minus 25 pi but we know that we have two arc shape so from here the area of the shaded portion will be 10 square plus two times of the what the arc what shape then we are going to get 300 minus 50 pi. Then we are going to find, we will get the area of the shaded portion to be what? 142.92 square, meter square. So this is the first approach. Let us look at the second method. So the second method, if we are able to find the area of this portion, we should be able to find the area of the shaded what? portion. So the area of the shaded portion can be the area of the bigger square minus the area of this semicircle minus the area of this semicircle again plus the area of this lens. Now we have two semicircle. So two semicircle will make what? A circle. So we can combine them. We have the square, we know this the area of this bigger square minus the area of this, uh, now this circle we know, but we don't know the area of the lens. So we need to find the area of the lens. And how can we find it? So for us to find the area of the lens, we, we can find the area of this quadrant minus the area of this triangle will give us the area of the shape. Then the same method, we can find the area of this quadrant minus the area of this triangle will give us what the area of this side. So you can see it here. Now we know that we have this triangle and this also this triangle, they are the same. So when we combine these two triangles, we can get what? We can get a square. Right, so we are going to get the area of these two quadrants plus and minus the area of this 
the square will give us the area of this lens. But now we know that when you have two quadrants and you, you combine them, you get what? A semicircle. So we can use the formula pi, r, pi over two r square, right? That is the area of what? The semicircle. Okay. Then this one will be what? A square. So you are going to get what? 10 square, right? Now, for us to find the area of the shaded portion, is the area of the bigger square, we know that is 20. So 20 square minus, minus the area of what? The two semicircle, which now become, uh, which now become a circle. So pi r square. And we know that r is already ten, so you are going to get ten square plus the area because this were pi r square, pi over two pi uh, r uh, ten square minus ten square is the what the area of the lens right so pi over 2 10 square minus 10 square is what the area of the lens as we we already saw so you are you can have 20 square minus 10 square minus pi into bracket 10 square plus pi over 2 10 square so when you work it correctly you are going to get 300 minus 50 pi and the final answer would be what 142.92 meter square. So in both ways, you can be able to find the area of the shaded portion. I hope you got it correct. But please always subscribe to my YouTube channel for more educative videos. Bye for now.